Today, I am taking you on a journey through time to explore Florida's high-speed rail from its past to its present and the future. If you're a Florida resident or have ever visited our state, you might have noticed the growing popularity of the Brightline train. It is a new high-speed rail service that connects Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach, and it's soon expected to expand to Orlando. But the concept of high-speed rail in Florida is not new. In fact, it dates back to the 1980s when Governor Bob Graham proposed a statewide high-speed rail system. However, the project never materialized and it wasn't until the early 2000s that an idea of a high-speed rail connecting Miami and Orlando resurfaced. Fast forward to 2010 when Florida was awarded $2.4 billion in federal stimulus funds to build a high-speed rail system between Tampa and Orlando. The project, called the Florida High-Speed Rail, was set to be completed in 2015, but it was ultimately canceled by Governor Rick Scott, citing concerns over cost and ridership. When Rick Scott was elected governor of Florida in 2011, one of the first things he did was to reject the $2.4 billion federal grant that had been awarded to the state to build the high-speed rail. Governor Scott at the time cited concerns on the cost of the project and the potential financial risk to Florida taxpayers. At the time, the Florida High Speed Rail Project had already received a lot of support from transportation advocates, businesses, and government officials. The project was expected to create thousands of jobs and really boost economic growth throughout the state. Despite these benefits, Scott argued that the project was too expensive and that the ridership projections were overly optimistic. He also expressed concern that Florida taxpayers would be on the hook for any cost overruns, which estimated could reach in the billions of dollars. Many critics of Scott's decision argued that he was short-sighted and that he missed an opportunity to invest in Florida's transportation infrastructure. They point out that the high-speed rail has been successful in other parts of the world and that it could have brought significant economic benefits to Florida. So while opinions on the matter are divided, it's clear that the decision to cancel the Florida high-speed rail project was a controversial one, and it had significant impacts on the state's transportation infrastructure. But the dream of high-speed rail connecting Miami and Orlando did not die because in 2012, the private rail company All Aboard Florida was founded with the goal of building a high-speed rail service between South Florida and Central Florida. After much planning and construction, the Brightline trains finally launched in 2018 with plans to to expand to Orlando in the near future. So what does the future hold for high-speed rail in Florida? Well, the success of the Brightline trains has sparked interest in other high-speed rail projects throughout the state, including a proposed rail line connecting Tampa and Orlando. The Florida Department of Transportation has also announced plans to study the feasibility of a high-speed rail connecting Jacksonville and Miami. As a Miami resident, I can tell you that the Brightline train has been a game changer for our transportation system. It's convenient and comfortable and really the most efficient way to travel between cities car-free. I am super excited to see the expansion to Orlando, hopefully this year. So there you have it folks, the past, the present, and the future of high-speed rail in Florida. If you haven't tried the Brightline trains yet, I highly recommend it. And who knows, because maybe in the future, we'll be able to travel across the state on high-speed rail. We'll be able to make it from Miami to Orlando, to Tampa, to Jacksonville, maybe one day Tallahassee, who knows. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or even just enjoyed it, make sure that you subscribe and give it a like. I come out with new videos about Miami every single week. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.